out at Hangsters in Daytona. Today, 68 Hemi Roadrunner. This is one of those cars that we have that's, they're all really, really nice quality, high quality cars. Few of them are so over the top done, and this is one of those cars. It's just done to the nth degree, as it was or better than it left the factory in 1968. Heavy duty, uh, 11 by 3 brakes in the front, heavy duty sway bar, a real 426 Hemi motor, correct exhaust manifolds, 727 tranny. Uh, there's no marks underneath the car anywhere. Uh, it, the, the lines, everything are as they left the factory new in 1968. Uh, two and a half inch pipes, H pipe crossover that Chrysler had with the Hemis and 440 cars, uh, new drive shaft brake lines, new uh, uh, fuel lines, uh, park and brake is all new, uh, two stainless mufflers on the car, correct Hemi uh, torque boxes on it for the uh, springs, seven inch on one side, six on the other for the uh, torque balance, uh, eight and three quarter posi rear end. Uh, this car is just so over the top done, it's just the way it left the factory in 1968. You could not find a nicer car than this. 11 by 2.5 heavy duty brakes in the rear. The same as the front. New shocks in the front, new shocks in the rear. Um, everything on this car is as it left the factory in 1968. I don't see anything that's uh, showing that it's been changed. It, it, the original floor pans in it, the original drop downs on the quarter panels, two and a quarter inch pipes going into the correct exhaust tips. The, the car is just over the top. It's as nice a car as you could ever buy. Under an iconic Mopar Roadrunner hood, this is the epitome of muscle car technology. There is no question. This is a motor. 426 Hemi. Correct numbers. Correct exhaust manifolds. Correct everything. There's nothing that's incorrect about this car. Uh, the car has uh, 425 horsepower at 5,000 RPMs. At 6,000 RPMs from the factory, it was over 500 horsepower. This is a serious PC equipment for somebody that wants the absolute epitome of muscle car technology. This is a car for them. It's the best of the very best. Hi, Al Hangsters at Daytona. A lot of people want documentation and originality with a car. Well, sit down and take note. This is what you call documentation. Everything concerning this car from day one until today is here. Can't even count how many photos are here from its inception to today. Pictures of this car everywhere. We've got all the documentation, including the original build sheet, broadcast sheet, window sticker, bill of sale, anything you could think of. The car was used by Mopar for their calendar in 1996. Um, some receipts showing the rebuild of the car, Govier authenticity report, Chrysler registry uh, report of authenticity, uh, original Prestolite cast iron distributor that came with the car. It has two new Carter AFBs, a little bit larger, give you a little bit more airflow and a little more horsepower. The original Carter AFBs are in the box right there, numbers matching original carburetors. This thing is documented to the nth degree. You'll not find another car out there with more documentation than this one has. It is authentic. Talk about photos and documentation for the car, a multitude of them. Each envelope contains about a quarter of an inch thick stack of 35 millimeter color high definition photos of this car from way back when till now. Um, paperwork of pretty much everything that was done to authenticate this car back down to the original uh, vehicle ID numbers on the car from when it was bought new, uh, the CERTA card for the car, a breakdown of all your numbers on the car off the uh, bill tag, um, Chrysler registry, 
showing the uh, authenticity by Chrysler. Um, there's a gentleman that purchased the car new and he bought it back again in, in 2005. Um, just copies of things and original too. This is a copy of the uh, order manifest from Chrysler. There he is with the car when it was new yet, when he, you know, right after he had bought it with his kids. Department of Revenue, here's the original broadcast sheet with the car. You see it was still has the spring marks on it. The original jacking instructions from the uh, trunk area that was replaced by a new one. The original uh, manifest from Chrysler, the build sheet. This is more breakdown of the uh, serial numbers and uh, codes on the car showing its options. The original 1968 owner's manual that came in a glove compartment for the car. Just more pictures of him in uh, the Road Runner. It says Road Runner takes first in uh, different car shows and, and drag racing also. There's another copy of the Chrysler registry. Um, Gauvier report showing its options and accessories and, and uh, authenticity. Calendar from whenever the car was used by Chrysler in 1996 is their calendar car. More receipts for the car. The original cast iron Chrysler Presto Light distributor that was in the car from when it was new. There's a Presto Light in it now, but this is the original distributor. All four owners of the car from day one, history of ownership. The original Carter AFBs that came as original equipment on this car. And like I said, they were replaced by two modern Carter AFBs. It's nice to find a car with this kind of documentation. It's very rare that we ever come across them with this much paperwork, with this much showing the authenticity of this car from day one. But we have it all for this car. Anybody that gets this car is going to get one of very few in the country. I think the numbers uh, show that there were only 300 and some of these produced in this configuration as it is. How many are left? Who knows? I know this is one of them and it's one that is 100% original documentation and car. All numbers are correct on this car. It's one of a kind.